YouTube, it's Mac Luke here. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to install Ubuntu or Linux uh, Ubuntu on your Mac via VMware Fusion. So if you don't know what VMware Fusion is, it's a uh, it's basically an application where you can uh, run a uh, operating system on your Mac. So for example, if you want to run Windows or uh, Ubuntu or other stuff like that, so uh, you will need VMware Fusion and the um, then uh, Ubuntu ISO, which I'll show you how to get. Uh, so VMware Fusion, I'll put a link to the in the description to the right, so you can go get the free trial. Uh, and if you don't know, if you know uh, Parallels Desktop, it basically does the same. So if you have Parallels Desktop, you can also do this. It's kind of the same. It's a little different interface, but you'll see. Uh, so for downloading Ubuntu, uh, you want to go to their website, which will also be in the description. And you can choose uh, the server where you want to download from and download. So it's quite simple. And you'll end up with with this, which is the newest version. Uh, so right now, I'm going to show you how to install it on VMware Fusion. So basically, when you install VMware Fusion, you'll see the virtual machine library. Uh, so I have Windows XP Professional and Moblin, which I'm kind of working on right now because it's very hard to get work. But anyways. Uh, you want to press on new then continue without disk and then you want to uh, select the use operating system installation disk image file so we would need uh, you will need an ISO dot uh, ISO or dot IMG file so I'll choose it's the Ubuntu one so you choose that one just press continue and here you choose your operating system which is basically going to do Linux and then the version you want to choose uh, Ubuntu. If you got the 64-bit version, you take you take the 64-bit version. But I've got the 32-bit, so I'll just do Ubuntu. So if you download it from their website, uh, just do the Ubuntu normal one. So then click continue. Here you can do uh, use easy install. So you can choose use easy install. Then your display name, account name. I'll just call it M4C book. Now your password if you want one you can also leave them blank if you don't want any and then you've got the check or uncheck make your home folder accessible to the virtual machine which I personally always uncheck but that's up to you basically what it does it's when you're in Ubuntu on your Mac you'll be uh, able to access your Mac documents through there uh, which I don't like because if you have Windows and then I mean you never know it can happen stupid things can happen you know so I'll just uncheck that and I don't really need it anyways Apparently, you do need to uh, insert a password, otherwise you cannot continue. So we're going to continue, and then here, uh, this is up to you if you want to make it your default one or not. And here are the, it is the summary. So when you're happy with this, you're going to click on Customize Settings and not on Finish. So just Customize Settings. Here you want to say where you want to save it. So if it's a lightweighted operating system, you can save it on an external hard drive, which I'm not going to do for tutorial purposes purposes right now but uh, you can do that it saves uh, some space so you save it you give it the name you want and then you just hit save so it's gonna save it and then you've got some settings here which are quite important so first off on the process processor and RAM so here you can choose uh, what amount of RAM you give it and how much cores or virtual processors you give it so I'm gonna give it two with a uh, well let's say one gig of RAM, thousand twenty-four MB. Uh, you can also give it more. Obviously, you can give it two or whatever you want. Uh, so yeah, and then the hard disk. Uh, here you can see I gave it twenty gigs, but that doesn't mean it's gonna remove twenty gigs of your hard drive. It's only gonna remove it when you actually use it. Uh, except if you check pre-allocate disk space, it's gonna use it. It's gonna remove twenty gigs right away. So that's up to you. Uh, I prefer not using that, it's not really handy at all, so why have it? So then, uh, when you're done, just close that, and then go to the Ubuntu and hit the little play. It's going to start up the virtual machine, so I'm just going to run it in full screen for you guys. So I'll try to, sometimes I'll speed up the video and uh, because it's going to take a while. So basically you uh, here, when you start out with the back screen, black screen, uh, just wait, and I'll come back when it's ready and everything, okay?
power back this is about one minute later uh it went to a whole installation and the processing so just leave that on you don't need to click anything so right now if uh everything went correctly which should uh, you're gonna uh, end up with the screen so here you're gonna say what's your name so you can enter your full name or not here you can enter your login name so it must be all lowercase letters so no uh, caps letters or shift or whatever um, so only lowercase uh, letters but you can also add numbers here you want to ent uh, enter your password so I'll just do one two three four and here you want to say what's the name of the computer and I'm going to say login automatically since I only have one account. Oh yeah, you can also change the name of the computer if you want. Then just hit forward. It's going to say I have a weak password. Just continue. Or you can change it, obviously. So now you just wait a few seconds. So it's going to start at this thing. So I'll be back when uh, this is done, okay? So here we are after about five minutes later. So um, if you were in full screen, a pop up will appear and it's going to ask you this. Um, the, the, the guest operating system has locked the CD ROM. Laura is probably using the CD ROM, which we that. So uh, I recommend just removing your, if you have a DVD in or a CD in your uh, DVD, just remove it. And uh, once it's removed, just click yes. So this is after five minutes later. Normally you shouldn't have uh, clicked on anything since the last thing. So I'm just gonna put it back on full screen for you guys. So this is gonna take a while. So it's gonna be doing some weird stuff um, here. So apparently it's gonna have to do something twice. I don't know why, but it should work. So yeah, then Ubuntu should start up, which is good, positive. So this is a few seconds later. I just have to wait. Don't need to click on anything. So right now, just wait. It should do everything for you. So again, a few seconds later. Uh, if you hear a noise like the Ubuntu starting up sound, it's normal. So that little song. And then uh, Ubuntu will start up in a very small screen. But normally VMware Fusion will automatically adjust the resolution as it does right now. So just wait a few seconds, it's almost done, and yeah, basically now you've, you're on Ubuntu right now, so it works great, uh, everything works great, so you've got your uh, standard Ubuntu application, accessories, games, graphic, internet, uh, Firefox web browsers already built in, and some other stuff, you as well got transmission, which can be quite handy, and then your home folder documents, for example, works all quite good. So uh, this is Ubuntu, well I think uh, it's quite simple, uh, if you got any, any questions or comments or a thing that hasn't worked or something like that, uh, just comment below or send me a personal message if you want a quick response maybe. Um, so yeah, let me put this off right now. So that was basically it for the Ubuntu installing, so I'll do the Windows uh, XP and maybe Windows 7 as well. I won't do Windows Vista because I think it's kind of lame and uh, you have to pay for it to get it and uh, for Windows XP as well but I already have Windows XP so it's okay and Windows 7 is free right now because it's not out yet and all that stuff so I won't do, be doing Windows Vista um, so that's basically it for Windows uh, I mean sorry Ubuntu installing through VMware Fusion I hope you liked it uh, thanks for watching please subscribe comment rate and that's it peace